Good morning everyone, hope you're okay. Now today I've got a friend with me. This is Jonah. Are you going to say hello Jonah? Say hello to everyone. Oh, hello everybody. But I can only see me and you. Well, yeah, you see Jonah, that's because we're making a video and then we'll post it on YouTube. Post it on YouTube? What do you mean? Is it is it a tube like the one I've got? No, Jonah, it's not like that sort of tube. It's a different sort of tube. Um, don't ask me to explain because I don't really understand it. Oh, okay. Hmm, I think we should say happy birthday to anybody who has had a birthday in lockdown. Do you know, Jonah, that's a really good idea. I know some people who have had birthdays. Uh, I know someone who was two. Can you count up to two? Oh, yes, I can count up to two. One. Uh, what comes after one? Two. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know someone who has been 10 and 15 and 40 and 70 over the last few weeks. So happy birthday to everyone. Yes, happy birthday everybody. Now, today I wanted to talk to you and to Jonah about something that Jesus did in the Bible. It's recorded in the Bible and it's about the very first miracle that Jesus did. Now, Jonah, do you know what a miracle is? Um, uh, yes, but I think you need to tell me. OK, so a miracle is when something that we think is impossible actually happens. And Jesus did lots of miracles when he was on earth. But the very first one he did was when he made something change into something else. That's quite amazing, isn't it? Well, it is amazing because people couldn't do it. Now, Jesus was at a party. It was a wedding party. Have you ever been to a wedding, Jonah? Uh, yes, I went to my uncle's wedding last year. It was very posh. Ooh, perhaps you had to wear a suit and a tie. Yes, I did. Now, the wedding that Jesus was at was very, very nice. And his mum and his friends were there too. But something happened at that wedding. Something which was a bit embarrassing for the people who were running the wedding. They actually ran out of wine. Everybody must have been drinking a lot because they ran out completely. Oh, that sounds very embarrassing. Well, it was. But Jesus's mum asked him to help. And Jesus, mm, he did help. He asked the person who was in charge of the wedding to bring him some big water jars now, these jars were filled with water, lots and lots and lots. If you can imagine how much was in your bath, well, each jar was filled with about that much. Mm, I don't have much water in my bath. No, but in most people's bath, Jonah, there's quite a lot of water. So Jesus asked for these jars to be filled with water. And so the servants at the wedding brought those jars. Here's some water. There's not much water here. No. But anyway, you can imagine some big jars of water. And then Jesus did something amazing. Do you know what he did, Jonah? Uh, no. Can you tell me what he did? Uh, did? Did he go out and buy some more wine? No, he didn't. He changed the water into wine and he made so much of the wine that everybody had plenty to drink. 
Isn't that amazing? Wow! That's so good! Jesus changed something ordinary into something amazing! How wonderful! It was wonderful! And the people at the wedding said that the wine just wasn't just ordinary wine, it was fantastic wine. It was the best wine they had ever tasted. That's quite incredible. And do you know something else, Jonah? Jesus says that when we love him, he can change us too. He can help us not to be worried. He can help us to love other people. He can help us to have real happiness deep down in our hearts. That's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, that sounds so good. And what do we have to do to have that happiness? Well, Jonah, it's as simple as saying, yes, God, I want you to be the most important thing in my life. I want you to take away all the bad things and to make me happy because we know you as our friend. Isn't that incredible? That's so good. I would like to do that. Well, we can all do that, can't we? Now, there's another verse in the Bible that tells us about becoming new and changing when we know God. And that is in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. I'm going to read it for you. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Jonah's got my Bible. Oh, we've lost you, Jonah. Where are you? Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Yes, I found the bit in the Bible we need. Here it is. Oh, I need my glasses on. 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17. Now, it says, Anyone, anyone, it doesn't matter who you are. Anyone who belongs to Jesus has become a new person. The old life is gone, a new life has begun. Isn't that incredible? That is so good. Do you think we could say a prayer now and ask God to be in our lives and to change us? I think that would be a marvellous idea, Jonah. Shall we do that? Shall we close our eyes? Dear God, thank you that you love us so much and thank you that when we ask you to be in charge of our lives, you can change us and you can make us happy and give us that peace that only comes from knowing you. Please help us all to love you the most in our lives. Amen. Bye everyone, take care, bye.